Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Before I get into the gist of this video, you might be wondering, well, it's, it's a quite interesting looking shirt I'm wearing. Well, yes, this is Footballer. I just want to say a big thank you to Footballer for the wonderful gear that they have provided me for Reggae Boys Commentary. So I, I kindly ask you please to check out their content. I'll leave all their information in the description below. They have a website with, for this football apparel that they supply to all of the majority of Caribbean football players to where they also have a YouTube channel as well where they interview Caribbean players. In the past they've had Omar Cummings on it, Joby McEnough, Lee Williamson, just a few who have been on it in the past. Lovell Palmer has appeared on a number of occasions. So here is their sort of logo in a way. And that's how footballer is spelt. So I'm gonna say a big thank you to Mauricio Wilson, play, uh, individual of Jamaican descent, who has supplied me with this wonderful gear. Looks nice, doesn't it? Well, I like it, and I'm sure you will. So please check out the lovely apparel on this website. It's quite brilliant, and <laughs> it's quite interesting when you watch those different videos of the. Jamaican internationals that wear this apparel, they might say their name and say, and I am a footballer. And of course, we know it is spelled uniquely, so quite interestingly. So, yes, to get into the gist of this video now, the Jamaica under 17 national team is going to take on the United States under 17 international team in two friendly internationals. It'll be on November 2nd and November 6th in Jamaica. On November 2nd, they'll be playing the match at the stadium East Field at 3 p.m. and on November 6th they'll be playing at Winchester Park also at 3 p.m. Winchester Park as you know is the home of St. George's College so that is where they'll play the second encounter. So two fabulous friendly internationals it gives the coaching staff Andrew Edwards two more opportunities to test the depth of his squad and arguably against the best team in CONCACAF as they fight to get into that FIFA Under-17 World Cup next year in Mexico. Wonderful privilege it is and we do hope that our players are able to strut their stuff in a way and they'll be able to do their best against the United States. We know that how the United States have been in the past. There's Since the start of the FIFA Under-17 World Cup, there's only been one Under-17 World Cup that they have missed and that was the 2013 edition of the Under-17 World Cup in UAE. So it shows their pedigree in qualifying for these sorts of tournaments. They do have a the cutting edge in CONCACAF. But we have history of beating them on the Andrew Edwards. We have never lost to the United States under 17. If you remember in the CONCACAF under 17 championship in 2015, we beat them 1-0 in the group stages and then drew 0-0 in the in the playoffs. But remember that was a deciding match to go to the World Cup and we lost 5-4 on penalty kicks. In regulation time we didn't lose, but in penalty kicks unfortunately 5-4 we lost on that occasion. It's still quite tough to take in despite it being last year but if you look at this team I still believe that the, the squad is further in preparation and development compared to the under 17 squad we had last year so I'm quite confident in our ability to do quite well and these two friendly matches is an opportunity for the players as well to be part of that squad in Panama next year to go to the CONCACAF under 17 championship so we do hope that the players in the pool can do their best to make an impression for themselves. Are there any new faces involved? It's something quite exciting to go. And let me tell you something, Reggae Boys fans, especially the ones living in Jamaica, admission is free. So go, go support the team. Go and support them. November 2nd, November 6th. Go and support the team, it's free admission. Go in your black, green, yellow, gold, support the team. They need your support very much so. So, that's Reggae Boys Football Commentary. I'm Simon Preston. Don't forget to like our Facebook page as well, Reggae Boys Commentary. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Reggae Boys Commentary.